Hi, I'm Bernie Dog, and sometimes I get frustrated with people who just don't seem to understand little stoves like the one you're looking at right now. That's an Optimus Zero Zero, sometimes called a double lot. Today I'm going to show you how to start it up. It's not complicated. It's really easy. Kids have done it. Grandmas have done it. I even heard a story about a dog doing it. I don't know if that was really true. First thing you want to do is make sure you've filled the tank two-thirds full of kerosene. Never use Coleman fuel. That's very dangerous. Don't use gasoline. Don't use something you brewed up on your still. Only use kerosene and clear water white kerosene. Now what I'm applying here is some alcohol. Not the kind you drink. Denatured alcohol. Sometimes called ethanol or methanol or all kinds of other different names. I'll tell you more about that in just a minute. Once you've filled the spirit pan and lit the alcohol, you get to sit around and wait until that alcohol has heated the burner head. It's important that it heats the burner head. Why? Because liquid kerosene won't burn. What happens in this burner head here is that the fuel, the kerosene, is going to be pumped up through the riser tube into the burner and up into the head of the burner. The head of the burner is going to be hot. It's going to vaporize that liquid fuel into a gas. Now when it comes out of that burner head, it's going to come out down into this U-tube right here. You can kind of sort of see through the flame. And it comes out a jet or a nipple, some people call it. That gas now a gas, no longer a liquid. That gas is what you're going to burn. Now, when the spirit, sometimes called spirit, the alcohol has burned down so that there's hardly any left, you're going to use this device right here. This is the vent screw. Go ahead and close that off just before the alcohol disappears and give your stove one or two pumps. Well now look at that. We have kerosene, vaporized kerosene coming out of the burner head, out of the jet. That's what these yellow flames are about. As this alcohol burns away completely, you see the flame starting to blue up and now our stove is operating. We want to make it operate with a little more vigor. We can add a few more pumps. Put some pot legs on. And you can do this beforehand. You don't have to wait until after you've started it. I was just trying to use it for clarity here. And now you're ready to put your pot on and heat things up. You can see that my flame here is a little yellow. My, my jet on this particular stove is a little, uh, a little worn out. So this is a little yellower than I would like, but it does blew up pretty well when I put the kettle on. Now, to turn the stove off, what do you do? You unscrew the vent screw again, and it releases the pressure in the tank. and the flame will go out. That's all it takes to operate one of these traditional kerosene burning, burning stoves.